This coronavirus is getting out of hand. Before I get started into answering these questions, do not use the coronavirus to be racist, sexist, homophobic, um, gender discrimination. Just don't. Just don't use the coronavirus as a sublet for you to be a racist bigot. Okay? So I just wanted to get on here and share a few common ask questions and share the answers with you about the coronavirus. So disclaimer, these common ask questions are from the Department of Health here in New York City. Um, somebody did forward this to me um, earlier today and it just has a list of questions that a lot of people are asking right now about the coronavirus and things that you should know about the coronavirus, AKA COVID-19. So what are coronaviruses? So coronaviruses are a family of viruses that cause mild illness like a cold to be more serious like pneumonia. A novel new coronavirus is a type of coronavirus that has not previously been seen in humans. 2019 novel coronavirus is a new type of coronavirus identified as the cause of an outbreak of the respiratory illness which affects breathing called COVID-19. COVID-19 infections have now been reported in many countries, including the United States. So that means the coronavirus, it may have started in Wuhan, China, or they may have discovered the outbreak of Wuhan, China, but now it is spreading all across the world. It is not only in the United States, it is in Jamaica, Italy, a lot of places in Europe, and it just seemed like it spread it. It's kind of reminded me of a zombie apocalypse. But for any information and updates about the coronavirus and places that are affected, you can visit cdc.gov slash coronavirus. So because like, the coronavirus can present itself like a common cold, you may say, Stephen, what should I do if I feel sick? So Based on the DOH, they recommend you stay home and call your doctor if you are feeling any type of symptoms. If you're feeling sick, do not just go out to work or school. Make sure you're calling your doctor. Let them know your symptoms. Um, let them know how you're feeling. And it sometimes it may just be a cold, a common cold, or you never know. But if you are feeling sick and you think you have a cold, you know, stay home. So before I continue, I am going to um, FaceTime one of my good, good, good Judies, Mr. Eddie Edison. Um, he's going to tell us a little bit about the coronavirus and um, I'll just see what he has to say. Um, I'm trying uh, to protect myself from the coronavirus. Are you? I won't say you try to protect yourself from me. You tried it. Yeah, because, you know, I'm not trying to get corona right now. Mm, yeah. Okay. So, what you, so what are you trying to get right now? Um, I'm trying to get the good Lord blessing. So hey Edison, I am hey, here. Hey Detox. Okay. <laughs> What's up? So I'm here doing a quick video about the coronavirus, and uh -huh. I Wait, just you got went, it. What? You got it? I do. I actually have it in a purse right now. Oh, so, purse first. Yes, work. <laughs> Um, so I'm actually doing a quick video about the coronavirus and I wanted to get your input and see what you know and see if you want to share it with anybody who's watching this. So Wash your hands. Wash your hands. So this lady had, I'm going to show the video, I mean the photo here guys. So this lady had on the gloves. She was like, yeah. tap, tap, tap. She held on the, the bars of the train with the gloves. She tapped her phone and then she touched her face. And I was like, so what's the point of the gloves? Yeah. Literally, I was like, what you did, I was like, are you stupid, bitch? But I was like, you know what? If that makes her feel safe about the corona. That makes her feel safe. That was like the, the well, not like, but similar but different. The lady on the news, she was mm -hmm. reading it, and then she licked her tongue to turn the page. I'm like, you just said, keep your hand away from your face, and you just lick your tongue to turn the page. I'm like, come on. Oh, my God, I actually do that when I'm at work. Like, sometimes I'm going, because I normally do a lot of paperwork, so I'm like, yeah. And I'm like, fuck, I don't want to get the corona. Don't but so Edison, um, so a lot of people are like canceling all their reservations. Like I wanna know, can we like still go out to a restaurant? Like, can I go get food? Uh well, not if you're sick. Because if you're sick, you gotta stay home. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have any symptoms, then it's fine to 
go go like just live your regular life and just continue to practice good hygiene breathing wash your hands so a lot of people might be asking Addison um they have like animals or pets that they want to take out for a walk is it okay for them to go out to walk and like can animals get the corona uh, um animals are not known to transmit the corona however you should still feel free to walk your dog or walk your cat also can i walk my lizard if that's the thing that you do absolutely so, you know so like pets and animals they should be okay but again, yeah. this, we're still learning so much, I think, about this virus. Like, we don't know yet. Well, yeah, according to the DOH, they said it's fine. You, sh you should still be able to be around your animals because they won't give it to you until we hear otherwise. Mm -hmm. I said just go about your normal life. Don't overthink it and just, you know, have good habits. True. So, Eddie, Eddie, Eddie. Before you go, is there anything else you want to share with the viewers or me about the coronavirus, aka COVID nineteen? So, Lady COVID, right? Like, so I don't know everything. You don't know everything. If you need to find information, um, I know here in New York, you can just call three one one, and mm -hmm. they can direct you to wherever, whatever resource you need to go. Mm -hmm. That's that's their job anyway. You call them, three one, three one one. What's your emer? Well, that's not what they say. But... Yeah, I'm like your one's not emergency, bro. <laughs> Hi, three one one. I'm like, I'm like, Hi. I'm like, how, blah, blah, blah. how you do? Like, where can I find them? I have a question about how do you like, and they're gonna like, just guide you and tell you where to go. Or what you can also do is you can text COVID C O V I D two six nine two six nine two you repeat those three numbers twice mm -hmm. and then you know you're gonna receive some smx <laughs> some <text. laughs> you go get some text messages you know all right let's do that part where he's some some the <laughs> so, <and> so now... <laughs> uh, <laughs> all right <laughs> leave just you know text covid to six nine two six nine two so you get the accurate information because everything else is just alleged. Mm -hmm. Like this show. Allegedly. Okay. Well, I'm going to let you go now because I know you have an appointment. Wink, wink. I know. But she's late. <clears throat> All right. So I will see you. Bye. Bye, Zs. Like my friend Edison said, you have to make sure you are constantly washing your hands, especially if you work in a school, in a medical facility, you have to make sure you are constantly washing your hands and you have to at least wash for 20 seconds properly. So when you're washing, you need to like, you know, get in the hands, get in the nails, make sure you're like physically washing your hands. Um, when you're sneezing, you wanna make sure that you cover your mouth and you don't cover your mouth like, <laughs> you want to make sure you're covering your mouth like, you know, in your shoulders. Or, I mean, in your <laughs> elbow. This is how you want to cough. Or if you're sneezing. That's also a great way to prevent the spread of corona. Do not shake hands. Instead, use wave, use your elbow, be like, hey, how you doing, girl? How you doing, boy? Like, hey, sis. Be like, hey. Or just be like, hi. Well, I wouldn't even recommend doing like ear kisses because sometimes you're like, poo, poo. Because normally, normally what I do is whenever I meet somebody or say hi to somebody, I'm like, hey, mwah, mwah. Mm -mm -mm. Be like, hey, stay over there. Give an elbow. People who are most at risk for the coronavirus have severe illnesses. And a lot of those people are elders. Um, they may have pre-existing health con conditions such as chronic lung disease, heart disease, diabetes are weak immune system. So if you know that you're taking care of a family member, um, especially an older mom, dad, grandma, older cousin, um, somebody who's older, especially, you want to make sure that you are being extra cautious and protecting yourself. Um, for instance, I do take care of my mom from time to time. So whenever I go out, I have to make sure that I'm properly washing my hands. Whenever I come inside, I'm washing my hands. I'm not, you know, exposing her because I may be okay in the long run. I may be able to get treated in the event if I have corona, but if I do end up 
pass in, you know, corona onto her, it would be a lot more difficult. So if you are taking your family member or someone's el elderly or they already have a pre-existing health condition, make sure you are keeping yourself safe. So the way how coronavirus is spread, it's not necessarily spread in the air. However, it is spread in the droplets that come out of your mouth when you cough, sneeze, and or speak. So for instance, if you are in close contact with somebody about six feet, they say, because that's how far I could travel, and you're having a conversation, if you tend to spit out or if you tend to cough or sneeze, that's why it's important for you to cover your mouth when you're sneezing. If it will spread by, if you cough in your hand, you hold on to a doorknob, elevator buttons, the train handle, and then go ahead and touch your face. That's also a common way that it could spread as well. The face mask does not protect you from getting corona. However, it does prevent somebody else from transmitting the corona to you if they do have it. So if you feel like you're coughing, sneezing, um, fever, or you just don't feel well, that's when you should wear a face mask. I'm already, you already, see, if you see my other video, you know how I feel about this coronavirus canceling Dragon LA 2020. I'm over it. But again, if you feel like you're come, going to a big event, um, please check their website. I know right now in New York City, a lot of Broadway shows are canceled. Um, and I know a lot of parties are canceled as well because of this coronavirus. People, you know, they're thinking about visiting their um, elderly family members, your moms, your dads, or whomever. If you are feeling sick, I would recommend you just, just do a phone call, you know. Don't even bother with going to see them if you're feeling yeah. sick. Do I need to get extra supplies like canned goods? Yes, it is always great to have extra supplies, canned goods, bread, milk, eggs, whatever you may need um, because we never know how bad this virus is going to get and what extremities it's going to happen um also if you do have an underlying medical condition or super urgency i would recommend that you do call your doctor's office you call your pharmacy to make sure that they have the medication in stock and to see if you can even get it um earlier just like my friend Edison mentioned in our FaceTime, if you want to stay up to date and get the most recent information on the coronavirus, text COVID, which is C-O-V-I-D to 692-692. Again, if you want to get the most up-to-date information, text COVID, C-O-V-I-D to 692 -692. And that is the hotline from, from the Department of Health. Also, you can visit the website at newyorkcity.gov slash coronavirus just to get the most up-to-date information on whatever you may need to know about this coronavirus. Um, I just want to say, guys, be careful out there. I hope you can utilize some of the information I shared. I'm also going to put a link in my description below if you want to go and read more about the coronavirus and see a little bit more in depth of those questions in which I spoke about. Um, I did not go over everything, but you can always go to that link, click on it, and you can actually read a little bit more on the most up-to-date information about the coronavirus. Uh, I want to thank my special guest, Eddie Edison. Um, I am going to drop his Instagram, Twitter handle, probably his grinder handle. Um, so you guys, make sure you go and follow him. And don't forget to subscribe and also support your local drag queens, including me, even though I'm not in drag, but you get the picture.